Yo, what's going on YouTube? And welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We are taking a look today at the Chicago Blackhawks as we continue our series. Take a look at all the non-playoff teams and my predictions for their 2021 offseason. Let's get right into it. So the Chicago Blackhawks had a disappointing season once again. And this is a team that's starting to come back from where they were. Now, obviously, they were at a very high level with, you know, guys in their prime with guys like Duncan Keith, Jonathan Taze, Patrick King, Corey Crawford, uh, Nicholas Yalmerson, Brent Seabrook. They had a really good core there in Chicago. And we're starting to see that team, you know, since they've gotten older and stuff like that. They went down a little bit, and they're starting to pick back up. And a lot of that has to be on the hands of Stan Bowman as the general manager. And I think we're going to start to see them continue to move in the right direction going into next season. But we're going to have to make some moves. So let's get into it. So first things first, we're going to head to the draft floor. And I think the Chicago Blackhawks should absolutely look at a defenseman. You've seen what they've been doing with defensemen recently. They've brought in guys like Ole Mata. They've brought in guys like Nikita Zadorov. They've brought in guys like uh, Connor Murphy. And they really haven't worked out for the most part, if, if we're going to be completely honest. So, I think they need another defenseman. Whether that's a guy like Brant Clark, obviously Owen Power at number one, duh. Simone Edmondson, if he, if he falls in the draft. Like, these are guys that Chicago should absolutely be looking at and I think they're one of those teams that you know kind of suffered from their own success this season they, they had a pretty solid year but the problem is now you're looking at a later draft pick potentially between you know I think where was their odds they don't have great odds of winning this year so it's one of those things yeah they have the 12th best odds at the first overall pick which means they could go 1, 2, 12, 13, or 14. That doesn't feel too good. So, if they stay at 12, you know, that's they could get a good forward that falls into their lap. Maybe an R2 Ratu or Fabian Lizell, you know, but is that what they is that what the Blackhawks really need? Not really. So, I think they should absolutely draft a defenseman. Now, we're going to continue. We're going to make a trade. I would absolutely make a trade. And I would look at trading a guy like Alex Nylander. Nylander is one of those guys that just, you know, for everything that he's done with the Blackhawks, he actually had a really solid season with them this year. Um, I think he picked up 32 points. Let me just check. Uh, he picked up 32 points in 84 games. In his entire NHL career, he did not play last season. So, you know, his injury history has been a problem. Now, the question is, what do you trade? Like, how do you trade a guy like that? Well, ideally, I would look at a team like the San Jose Sharks, who could maybe use a little bit more forward scoring power. And I would maybe try and grab a guy like Mario Ferraro. And I don't know if it's going to be just Mario Ferraro for Nylander. Probably going to have to throw in at least a second round pick if you're the Blackhawks. Because Mario Ferraro has been a very good defenseman uh, for the San Jose Sharks. But I think that's exactly what the Blackhawks need. A guy like Mario Ferraro. And I think he would really help solidify them. Adds a little bit of youth. And the Blackhawks need that defense badly. And they already have a lot of forwards in that, you know, that they want to have in that top six. Patrick Kane, Pia Suter, Alex DeBrinkett, Kirby Dock, Jonathan Taze. I mean, there's a decent amount of guys in that list there that want to play. And if you move out Nylander, makes it just slightly a little bit easier uh, to play those guys just a little bit more. And then I think they have to make a trade with the Columbus Blue Jackets and Yarmo Kekalainen. Can you bring in a guy like Elvis Merzlinkis or Jonas Corposalo? And what is the price? Because the Chicago Blackhawks desperately need a goaltender. Now... If at 12, 13, or 14, you see Jesper Wallstead sitting there as the potential of a franchise or elite goaltender, you absolutely take that. But what if he's not there at 12, 13, or 14? I think the Blackhawks will be one of the suitors in on Elvis Merzlinkis 
and the Jonas Corposalo sweepstakes. We know Columbus is going to keep one of those guys, so whoever they don't keep, the Chicago Blackhawks should absolutely be jumping on, trying to get onto their roster, because their goaltending has not been good. That really held them back this season. They had a decent amount of scoring and offensive power before some of those injuries, before... You know, again, when guys like Doc and Taze were out of the lineup, you thought they would have been dead, you know, dead in the water. And the Blackhawks actually played really well during that stretch. But again, it fell apart because the goaltending just isn't up to par for the Blackhawks. They probably could have made the postseason if they had Merzlinkis or Corpus Allo this season. Maybe next year they changed the odds a little bit by adding one of those young goaltenders. So, recap, draft a defenseman, keep the coaching staff the same. Trade Alexander Nylander for a defenseman. Again, it's hard to value where Nylander stands. Is he still a top six forward? Do teams see him as a bottom six forward, as a depth guy that can score goals? Um, and then you got to trade for one of the, the Columbus goaltenders, whether it's Elvis Merzlikas or Jonas Corpus Allo. Make sure you grab those guys and you know lock them up, sign them, and then make sure you have a good goaltending group going into next season so guys that's it for this video let me know what you think in the comment section down below of the chicago blackhawks year in the 2021 offseason what moves do you agree with disagree with or maybe you have some ideas for yourself leave that all down below and if you guys like what we're doing here at goal line hockey and want to see the latest news around the nhl you guys know what to do make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below as always guys thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time.